Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is going to be kind of a short one, um, but it's going to be a fun one as well. But it's my opinion on the top 10 favorite dog breeds. Now, this is my opinion of them. Um, I love all types of dog breeds. I love all types of dogs out there, but these are the ones that I truly have a soft spot for. Um, so number 10 is the Pug. Um, there's always something about this dog that makes it intriguing to me and so cute um so that's why i put him at number 10 um number nine let's move on to is a beagle there's always something about them that's so cute and i always imagine myself having a beagle later on in my life and that's like calling it shiloh because of the movie shiloh moving on we have number eight to a Shih Tzu. Now I've actually had a couple of these throughout my life. Um, so that's kind of why they have a soft spot for me. They're, um, I've always had these in a way. Um, my grandfather on my mother's side has one to this day who um, kind of got passed around the family a lot. We, me and my mother and him had a first and then my grandmother took it over and then my grandfather took it over but he he's just something else moving on we have a rottweiler which i've actually had i think when i was younger one um and it was something that was very very intriguing to me i always loved these types of animals the bigger type of dog breeds um so that's why you'll see most of them on here. Um, number six is a golden retriever. Um, if you ever watched Full House or Fuller House, um, I've always in, got intrigued by the animals that took a piece of that. So that's what always kind of wanted me to have a golden retriever. Moving on, we have. Number five, which is a Uton gun. Now, this one you guys might not be very, very um, sure about or what this is. Um, I think it's actually three different types of dogs mixed together. Um, and the reason why it intrigues me is because it looks so much like a wolf. And I've always wanted to own like a pet wolf or something that looks very similar to it so this would probably be the best option here for that moving on we have a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel um now I always thought they were cute because um I'm a huge Allie fan um and they have one named Evie um and it she is so cute, and I've always wanted one ever since I've seen her. Moving on, we have a Siberian Husky. I've always thought they were so cute. Plus, um, it kind of has a soft spot in my heart because I've always seen like that wolf features in them. Moving on, we have a Boston Terrier. Now... My father and my stepmother, who I am close to again, I would like to say, um, actually own a Boston Terrier, um, and he's, at first I didn't even understand what a Boston Terrier was until my father introduced me to their dog, um, in which, um, he is a goofball, um, and he is very, very cute. And I've always kind of wanted one of my own since then. So I kind of figure, even though it is my father and stepmother's biological dog, I've always kind of seen that he is partially mine as well. Um, that's just my head. Um, but he is always cute. And number one, if you didn't know me, you know I have my own pit bull. So, they always have a soft spot on my heart. And this actually is my pit bull. This is Dom. Um, 
I've actually had a couple pit bulls in my life. Um, but Dom was the, probably the one that I was the most closest to, and am still to this day. Um, but the so pit bulls always get this bad rap of they're dangerous, vicious dogs, and I, I honestly want to tackle that stereotype right away. This dog here that I have absolutely has no danger bone in his whole body. For one. And two, it's all stereotype. These dogs are absolutely perfect. Like, this dog has literally been with us since, for I think three or four years now, we've owned him. And... Um, people say he's not, they're not good around little kids. Well, my nephew, who is five now, was, I believe, only two, maybe even one, when we first got him. And he's never really did any intentionally harm to him at all. He's always played with him, he's always did everything with him, and there's nothing wrong with that and so I, that just breaks that stereotype right there so that's my top 10 opinion of the top 10 dog breeds um but obviously I love all types of dog breeds but these are the dog breeds that I personally would definitely want to own or do own in my life have a great day peace next Sunday's video of the week will be a Riverdale return, which will be returning, I believe, in January, predictions video. So what I want to see happen on Riverdale come the return in January. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you guys for watching.